Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, and you're watching Mission X, Ask an Astronaut. And today's topic is one of my favorite, mealtime. How do we eat in space? And we got a great question from Dustin, and he asked if we have a refrigerator in space. Well, on the space station, we actually have a lot of refrigerators, but most of them are freezers for us to put in biological specimens, and they freeze to about minus 100 centigrade, 100 degrees below zero. But we do have a couple of other tiny refrigerator, refrigerators that we can use to put leftovers in and that's a really nice thing because it gives you the chance to have a cold drink if you want to take a drink bag and throw it in there and a few hours after your workout to have a cold drink nothing better in space and the other thing is when we open a can or we open a foil pack up there we really don't want to waste any food because it's very difficult to get it up there uh, but sometimes there's a little bit more than we can eat so really just to put leftovers in the fridge is a luxury that's just wonderful to have on the international Space Station. So we got a great question from Anna in Italy. What do you eat in space? And of course, eating is one of my favorite things. Now, before we fly in space, we get to do some food taste testing. We get to look at all the food that we have in the space inventory on the Russian side, on the U.S. side, and now with some of our uh, other partners, Japan, Europe, Canada, and we get to choose the things that we like the best because the variety is actually pretty good up there. And then, of course, we have to look at the nutrition requirements for being in space. We have to have food that really helps us keep our bones and muscles strong as we work out and as we float along for uh, most of the day. Now, I've uh, got a couple things to show you here. Some of the food is dehydrated, meaning it's freeze-dried. You have to add hot water to it and squish it around and wait a few minutes and then it's great. This is Mexican scrambled eggs, one of our favorite things in the morning. These are cookies. We like to call them space cookies, but they're really off-the-shelf cookies that we have to package very carefully so that they'll last a long time when we store them. Now when we want to drink something, this is strawberry drink for instance, it comes in a bag with a little bit of strawberry drink powder down there. It's already mixed and all we have to do is stick this onto a water dispenser, let it fill up with water, but then a very important thing is that we have to poke a straw in there like this and the straw has a shutoff valve because if it didn't, We'd have strawberry drink everywhere, and then we'd have to clean our walls. So it's something you learn very quickly is that you have to close off your, your valve here to make sure that all of your drink is, is contained in your bag. You can't have an open glass of water or milk or anything like that. Now, this is basic chunky tuna, which you can buy off the shelf of a store, and a lot of our food now is off the shelf. We can go to a supermarket and buy a lot of our food, which is great because it tastes very good and familiar to us. Some of it comes in foil packs. This is one of my favorites. This is hot and sour soup. Sometimes having something spicy up there really hits the spot. And then, of course, one of our old favorites, grits and butter. <laughs> May not look like much here, but add a little bit of really hot water and a cup of coffee, and your breakfast is made. So a great question we got from one of our friends in France is, do we have to eat cold food up there or do we have a way to heat it? And the good news is we don't have to eat cold. We have a couple of ways that we can heat food and one of the biggest ways is just to add hot water to freeze dried food. So what we do is we add very hot water to this and it helps it get soft and mushy just like the scrambled eggs that it's supposed to be. So it already comes a little bit warm. But we also have hot uh, ovens that we can put our food in and, and we can warm up almost anything that's in a container like this or in the foil pack container, make sure that it's good, fresh, and steaming hot for us when we want to eat it. And let me tell you that hot food is a real morale boost when you've been working really, really hard all day and, and you're hungry and you want a really good dinner. So we're lucky in that. We do not have a microwave oven uh, for a lot of reasons. They do take a lot of energy and uh, maybe at some point we will have one up there, but uh, the hot ovens that we have both on the Russian side of the station and the U.S. side of the station really heat our food quite nicely the way they are. So one of our questions from one of our friends in France was dealing with the amount of water that we need to drink in space. On Earth, people need two to two and a half liters of water just to drink every day. And do we have the same needs in space? Well, the answer is yes, we do. Uh, it's interesting that the space station is very dry, so that makes you want to drink anyway. Uh, but you're working pretty hard. Even though you're floating, you're moving around all the time. And of course, we do our two hours of exercise a day. And we sweat pretty good when we exercise up there, just like we do on the ground. 
So it's really important for us to stay hydrated. Now, we have these drink bags and we try to drink several of these full of water or juice or coffee in my case, <laughs> uh, tea. We have all sorts of ways that we can actually drink that water up there, but it's very important for us to stay hydrated. Now, because we need that much water, it's important for us to recycle it as much as we can. So the urine that we make and the sweat that we sweat off, all of that can be reclaimed through the atmosphere or through some hoses into some purification systems so that eventually about 70% of that water gets recycled and we can drink it again. And that's, it's really important in space to know where your next drink is going to come from. I'm NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, and if you'd like to ask a question of an astronaut, go to the Mission X website and look for the Ask the Astronaut feature, and we look forward to your questions.